Hello, today we're going to be learning about lengths. We want to find out how long things are. Come on, let's go. So, I've got my maths book. I want to find out the length of my maths book. I wonder what I could use to measure the length of my maths book. I've got a sweeping brush, a pencil, a paper clip and a cube of sugar. Let's use the sugar cube. How many sugar cubes long is my book? Can you guess? I think it might be five. Should we measure? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My math book is seven sugar cubes long. Now I've got my teacher's table. What could I use to measure this time? Maybe I could use a paper clip. Well, no, that might take too long. I'm going to use the pencil. How many pencils long is my teacher's table? Can you guess? Should we measure? One, two, three, four, five. My teacher's table is five pencils long. Now I want to measure the door in the classroom. What could I use? Well, I could use the sweeping brush. How many sweeping brushes long is my classroom door? Should we measure? One, two. My classroom door is two sweeping brushes long. Okay, just one more before we finish. Could we measure the length of the pencil with the paper clip? I'm going to line up the paper clips across the pencil and you tell me how many paper clips long is the pencil? Oh, well done. The pencil is five paper clips long. Well, we've been measuring using non-standard units. They are non-standard because they are not the units that we use every day. We just chose them ourselves. Do you know that we could use our body parts to measure as well? Our body parts could be used as non-standard units. We shall look at that in the next lesson. Go and have some practice now measuring lengths with non-standard units. And I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.